guys, Christina Kasky here with Forever Board Soapery. Today I am making some of my Dreamcatcher's Gentle Snowfall Bath Bombs. Sorry, very thirsty today. I have a regular who loves Dreamcatcher's Gentle Snowfall scent, orders pretty much everything in it. And uh, she had mentioned today that I don't have my bath bombs on my website and she's right. I still don't have them on there. Um, I was just having a tough time with my stock limits, um, kind of especially up into Christmas, uh, making sure that I had enough, um, monitoring what's being sold on the website versus what's being sold in person and all that jazz. So I hadn't done it, but I am definitely in a better position now. They should be on there. So I'm going to make a batch of the Dreamcatcher's Gentle Snowfall because I'm confident that's what she's looking for. And then I will try and get my bath bombs onto the website this week so that people have that option. Uh, yeah. So I'm just mixing up here my baking soda and breaking up all the clumps. And while that's doing its thing, I'm gonna find some new. about a tablespoon of your water. And let's see if I was smart enough to make it out. I was. I did two micro scoops for the Tahitian Blue. Last time around. Love it when I'm smart enough to make the notes. Otherwise, I'm always guessing. And we'll stir that up in there. Ah! Okay, I'm making a mess again today. Surprise! color mixed in and it doesn't want to go into the water. It is a water soluble dye. Okay, should be good. Now let's see if I can get this. I don't know that you guys are going to be able to see too much in the container, but here we go. Just going to slowly drop this in. I, uh, this blue is definitely uh, stained. In fact, it stained my paddle the last time I used it. And I still haven't been able to get the color out. It's a getter. But it's gorgeous. And it's so nice to be able to have a blue um, when I first started out there, I was using mica powder, and I didn't know that you can't use ultramarines in a bath bomb. And I don't know what the reasoning is. Maybe somebody can share that with me. I haven't bothered to research it. I just found out you couldn't, so I just didn't anymore. And now I use the water soluble. Um, to be honest, I had problems with the micas anyways. Um, I would be going, you know, three, four times, no issues with any of the colors. And then that fifth time, the color would stay in the bathtub. It was just a pain. So I just didn't, I just switched water soluble. I don't have to think about it. Okay, so while that is mixing up, we are going to add our cream of tartar. I 
guess I should start with zero and scale. There we go. I might have to put this on my order list. I'm getting low. is done. So we're just going to pop that in there and let it start blending up. When I learned a trick about the SLSA, again, watching other people's YouTube videos, seriously guys, I, I love watching others on YouTube. I wish I could remember. It's not my thing and I never write it down when it happens, but learned a trick. So I'm going to wait for the SLSA and do my Kaylin Clay next. Such a bright, beautiful blue, looking gorgeous. Okay, so can play those in. Next one is our goat milk. this does so this one happens to be only 50% I totally missed it when I bought it um, so we're hoping that that doesn't cause us all kinds of grief So good in here is just like sand. Beautiful. Oh, this is 
new and exciting. I'm trying to think of anything fun I can share with you about the shop. I got my first booking come through for classes in the shop here in a couple weeks. I can only do one to two people actively making soap. Um, I just don't have a lot of space, but I figure I could do one on each side of the table and they'll be fine. Um, not only just space, but access to electrical outlets and all that nonsense, but that should go well. Um, what else? Yeah, so I'm happy about that. I had somebody approach me about doing uh, like bath bomb and maybe melt and pour classes and stuff like that at the schools. So we'll see how that plays out if the Parents Association decides that that's something they're interested in. But I figured I could do something like that and give them a bit of a deal if they do like 10 kids at a time or something and provide me with a little bit of volunteer support, that kind of thing. And what else? Yeah, just still actively working on getting everything stocked up and on the website and for sale and all that good stuff. So far that's just kind of been the goal and the bath bombs, honestly, I have a fair amount of bath bombs here, but it's like a few of each, and I just haven't been thinking about them because there's a lot there, but there is only a few of each, and for the website, I definitely should be stocking up, so it's good that we're doing this here. Okay, and our next guy is going to be our SLSA and our citric acid. Now, for our SLSA... I'm going to grab a mask today because I was coughing a little bit last time, but I think i got to walk around. Okay, so what this super smart person was doing bear with me here I just see a couple of white spots I want to get mixed in all right so what the super smart person was doing was they were taking and adding their SLSA now Look at all that powder, guys. Totally not being very careful with it because I am wearing a mask. <laughs> <coughs> Apparently, insufficient. <coughs> hmm. Good to know. This mask, no good, guys. I uh, probably need one of those dust ones that you get for drywall hanging and stuff. Or, in my case, I do have, well, this isn't doing anything anyways, um, I do have uh, my one that I use for lye, so I'll pop that one on next time, I guess. Um, usually I don't, I pour it in nice and slow and careful and I really don't get um, too much of a pushback from it, but on occasion I do and I'm starting to make enough of these items all the time that a little bit over a long period of time is probably going to cause some damage too. So I want to start wearing the masks and stuff. Okay, so I got the SLSA in there. I'm going to add the citric acid. I'm actually going to pull this down here. just <coughs> excuse 
excuse me, just pouring this over top of the SLSA. And now the theory behind this is when she starts st stirring up, she's not gonna do the poof that SLSA loves to do because it's under the citric acid and it's just getting mixed in. Okay, so we'll see if the theory is true. I'm looking good. So she's doing the mixy mixy thing here. Happy with that. And I'm just gonna, I might do, I'm already on bath ball mode, I might make some more here today. So I'm gonna leave that all out. But we will get a little bath bomb maker guy. They roll around a bit, but the trays will keep them more stable. I uh, haven't gone that route to date. I feel like my bath bombs are just a little bit flimsy when they're still wet and that they would actually fall apart if I was trying to move them around onto the tray. They could be completely wrong. They might be fine, but this is working for me. So why change it? number I don't know how many that I've been getting lately is to zero out your scale with all your things and stuff in it and then okay so you zero out your scale and then start adding everything in here Spoon, maybe? I don't know. I'll try a spoon. And then just keep pulling out your mixture until you hit the negative of what you want to see in here. So that I'm at negative 155. I like to have a 150 bath bomb, so I'm happy with that. So I do have a bath bomb press, but I'm trying this out again. The last time I made the Easter bath bombs, I didn't bother with the press. And my bath bombs came out beautifully. And you would think the press would be more useful, um, but I'll be perfectly honest, it's kind of a pain in the patootie. It's just an extra step. So we'll see, that one's looking a little cracked. So we'll see how she does. Oh, we need to zero out the scale again. And here we go.
hitting that perfect number, I swear. Okay, I'll write down 57, but I'm calling it. So try this again. If it's looking cracked, again, I might pull out the press and uh, see if it makes a difference. Maybe the cracking is an issue. Oh, that one's gorgeous. It's just the one so far. All right, so we'll zero out again. Here we go. How do you like the blue? So pretty. I didn't zero it out and something crazy is going on here, so zero it out, just start again. Take a little while to get my flow with this, but definitely less messy to do it this way. on the table so keep that going it's gonna take a lot of practice apparently to zero it out so good all right so it's starting to really think about spring and easter and mother's day and all the things okay who noticed i didn't zero my scale again oh well we'll just do the math here So yeah, I don't know. Just trying to think about all the things and where I want them and what I want to do, that sort of thing. What I want to make. I don't know. I don't have a lot I can think of to chat about with you guys here today, other than this is what we're doing. We're making beautiful bath bombs. Um, give me about a week, check out my website. These guys should be on there as well as some of the other bath bombs that I have in stock. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, keep making. Talk to you guys again soon. Bye.